you, you're on call. Your registrar told you that there is um, uh, a young girl in her thirties coming with uh, low and growing abdominal pain. Sounds like a renal colic. Your okay. registrar is very junior, SC3. He asks you what is the next step of assessing this lady. Okay, so I'd like to see this patient as a matter of urgency. First of all, I'd like to assess her according to uh, the uh, early warning score system uh, and A to S, uh, A, uh, A to D protocol. Um, if the patient needs resuscitation, I'll start by uh, IV fluid, hydration, and uh, doing uh, uh, IV antibiotics if she's septic, um, and then uh, examine her, make sure that she has a catheter inserted, take samples for cultural sensitivity, uh, and uh, 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 then arrange for her to have uh, dedicated scans. I would like, she's a female young in age, I'd like to do a pregnancy test as well, okay. um, and take history from her about her on to, uh, about her complaint, on to course and duration, whether she has any other urological symptoms. Preferably, I'd like to look into her notes to see if she's known to urology, whether she had similar symptoms before, so any attendances to the a and &E with similar uh, situation, uh, know about her other comorbidities and take it from there. OK, well, she is known to have kidney stone treatment in the past, but it was in a different trust. You are not able to access this information. She is in pain now. So what do you want to do? So the first, my first priority is as per uh, nice and grift, I would like to control her, uh, uh, her uh, pain. Um, given that her uh, if she if she is uh, uh, not pregnant, I will start by uh, non steroidals and then go up the, the pain uh, analgesic uh, protocol uh, ladder. Uh, I could give paracetamol, uh, opioids or uh, or morphine. OK, you, if you want to confirm her diagnosis, what do you want to do? In regards to diagnosis, if the pregnancy test is negative, I'd like her to have a CTKV. Okay. If she's pregnant, I'd like to do an ultrasound. OK, she is not pregnant and you do a CTKV. She got a seven millimeter stone in the uh, mid ureter with the minimal hydronephrosis, and she got another partial stuck hole in the contralateral kidney. Her pain uh, is controlled, but it's still requiring uh, uh, morphine. OK, so now that I have the findings, I'd like to discuss it with her. My uh, concern is uh, first the staghorn uh, stone. I'd like to uh, assess, uh, she, uh, is her renal functions normal? Normal, uh, normal uh, renal function. She came with yeah. the left right pain. Okay. The back on the right. Okay. So in regards to her staghorn, I'd like to assess her uh, split renal function. Um, once the uh, acute episode has resolved, I'd like her to do a DMSA okay. um, to assess her renal function. She's not. She's not. She's still in pain. Ah, so she's still in pain. Uh, mm. Okay. Um, and she has a left staghorn and left side pain. No, she got a, a, a six millimeter or seven millimeter mid ureteric stone on the left and partially. Ah, OK, the right. OK, so in that case, uh, as part of the, the pain management, I need to, to do decompression of her pelvic LCL system. This could be done either by insertion of nephrostomy or by cannulating the ureter, the ureter or putting a stent. OK, she's not septic. If she's if, if she's not septic, then yeah. I could argue to do a hot urethroscopy and uh, relieve the stone burden by doing uh, by removing the stone. OK, what is the guideline suggest? You've mentioned earlier nice and gift. What do they suggest? So I, the guide, the gift, uh, uh, guidelines suggest that if the pain is not controlled, the patient needs to have an, uh, an intervention within the first 48 hours. Otherwise, she will be electively done within two to four weeks. OK, so what is your uh, choice of intervention? Nephrostomy stent or urethroscopy? Urethroscopy, and if she is not septic, then a urethroscopy would be my first choice. OK, you take her to theater. She is WHO checklist. She is draped, nursed. I want to ask you what equipment do you need? OK, so I would like to make sure that the there is a, a team who are uh, laser trained 
uh, available in the emergency theater. I'd like to make sure that there is a laser equipment, including uh, the generator, uh, the fibers, uh, fiber. I'd like to have uh, a 265, uh, uh, 200, sorry, uh, uh, micron uh, fiber, laser fiber. I'd like to have um, a, a, a basket, engaged basket, uh, as well as a 20, um, according to the patient's uh, uh, height, uh, by 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 default, I'll have a 26 six uh, French stent, um, as well as um, yeah, these are the things I'll need, and of course X-ray, C arm. Okay, how does the C arm work? So C arm is an X-ray. It for its X-ray machine, which uh, works by the thermionic uh, uh, emission uh, on uh, switching on the C arm. The uh, heat generates uh, uh, heat. Uh, sorry, uh, electricity on the cathode for, uh, heats up the electrons, which gains the neg negative negative charge, uh, then becomes uh, repelled in towards the anode, and 99% uh, are absorbed as heat. 1% will be dispersed uh, in, into towards the receiver. Okay, how how you minimize? The, the the radiation in theta. OK, in regards to uh, uh, to minimizing the radiation exposure, I'd like to make sure that the uh, precautions are uh, are taking place, including wearing aprons uh, uh, as well as Google's and uh, neck shield. And uh, and reducing the number of attendees in the theater. Do you need to wear goggles if you are exposed to say to X-ray? Uh, no, so uh, in case of laser, sorry. Okay. Anything else to minimize radiation? Uh, using using uh, shots rather than continuous uh, 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 visualization is going to reduce the X-ray exposure as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so you do the the soscopy. You wanted to uh, put your wire, your access wire. Which scrub nurse ask you which one do you like? Uh, uh, which wire? Yeah. Um, so I would like to have a to, st to start with. I will start with the sensor wire. Um, um, what, why the my, sensor? Uh, the sensor is an etanol core with a five centimeter hydrophilic coat, so it's going to be malleable and it's going to be less traumatizing to the to the to the ureter as well as more flexible to uh, bypass the stone if it's causing complete obstruction or impacted. OK, the, the stone is impacted. What are you going to ask for next? You can't pass your safety wire. I'm going to ask for a ureteric catheter. OK, uh, and uh, try to approximate uh, the, the, the ureteric catheter as much as possible to the stone and then try to manipulate around the stone. OK, what what size of ureteric catheter do you use in your department? Um, I'm uh, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's it's eight French. OK, uh, so you, you do that. You're trying to manipulate it. The wire is passed. Uh, then what next? So you now that I have the safety wire, I'm going to uh, uh, now that I've introduced the safety wire, I'm going to introduce uh, my uh, retroscopy, uh, erythroscope, and introduce a second guide wire. Most likely, uh, in my practice, I use a PTFE. Um, and uh, but before that, I'm going to make sure to take a shot and make sure that the the first wire has reached the pelvic alveolar system and 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 is in a safe place. Okay. So, what is the size of your PTFE wire? I am aware that there are different sizes. The most likely used is the 0 0.035, which is 150 centimeter uh, tall. Okay, so you 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 have your uh, your PTF wire, and what else equipment that do you need to use with it? Uh, with the the wire. Yeah. Well, I second. could use I could use a rhetoric sheath. OK, uh, if needed, uh, but most likely. It's impacted. This gives me an idea that the, the, the ureter is inflamed and probably narrow, given that I couldn't pass the ureter first. So I'm, I'm not I'm not tempted to to try the, the sheath. Uh, the other thing I could use is the basket. 
Okay, so you you, uh, you use your electroscope. You you trying to use the basket. Which basket are you gonna use? So um, I'm aware that it's safe to use the tipped catheters in the in the ureter. However, I'm uh, in my practice I use an N gauge 2.2 French. Okay, so the stone is seven millimeter and it's impacted. Are you gonna basket it? first no so i'm going to use the wire the the laser first okay uh, what stand for sorry what laser stand for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation how does it work uh so the laser works first by spontaneous emission which means energy where the energy is infused in the laser medium causing uh, and, and and the and the energy is absorbed by the atoms uh, transforming transforming them into an excited form, which is the photons. Then stimulated emission uh, occurs where the photons collision causes excitation of the adjacent uh, atoms. And then photons uh, uh, are reflected on mirrors and exit the laser tube from the aperture towards uh, the exit. OK, you work in a tertiary center and you have a different laser machines in theater. The scrub nurse ask you which laser machine do you want to use for this case? So I'm aware of 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 uh, the Moses uh, uh, machine and which, uh, I'm sorry. Which one do you want to use? Um, I would I would use the Moses. OK, what is the technology behind the Moses? So the Moses is a double double bubble, sorry, double bubble effect. The first, the first bubble uh, uh, separates the uh, separates the water, and the other bo uh, the bubble, the other bubble uh, works as 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 normal with the uh, as the normal uh, uh, technique, which is the photothermal and the photomechanical effect. Okay, so what is the benefits of the bubble? Uh, so I think that the water bubble increases the efficacy, the efficacy of, of the laser transmission, okay. the wave transmission. Fine. OK, you can see the, lay, the the stone in front of you, your laser fiber in position. Uh, she asks you what setting do you like? Um, given that it's impacted, mm -hmm. I, I would like to fragment the stone, so I'm going to use low frequency and high energy. OK, what uh, the dusting setting? Uh, low energy, high frequency. High frequency. You fragment the stone, you use an engaged basket, you said. Okay, what is the opening mechanism, the length or diameter in the engaged basket in a full open uh, mechanism? Uh, I think uh, uh, 10 millimeter. Okay. Um, uh, you take the stone out. Uh, uh, she asked you, do you need a stent? You said the 626 is stent, yeah? Yes. OK, what the stent is made of, the one you use? So the stents, generally speaking, are formed of polymers or bio biodegradable or meta metallic. Okay. Uh, the polymers could be either uh, polyurethane or uh, silicon or percuflex. Uh, in my practice, uh, we use the percuflex. OK. And uh, why the st when you deploy the stent, you can see uh, the shadow of the stent in the fluoroscopy. What make the stent is visible in fluoroscopy? I think the uh, I don't know. I'm, it might be the air. I, do, I don't know. OK, fine. Um, the 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 uh, you concluded the procedure. Uh, you left the stent. Uh, how do you minimize uh, uh, stent-related morbidity in a department? OK, so immediately post-operative, uh, sorry, pre-operative, I'm going to counsel the patient about the possible side effects, including urinary uh, uh, bladder irritation and increased frequency. And I will counsel them about an off-license usage of tamsulosin. Um, Post-operatively, I'm going to make sure that the, the patient's details are in the st uh, stent registry um, to make and schedule the patient to have the stent removed uh, uh, um, within uh, appropriate timing. OK, so what, what do you what do you call appropriate timing? Appropriate timing okay. is two weeks. Is what, sorry? Two weeks. Two weeks, OK. And do and how do you remove it? 
In my practice, we the patient attends to the outpatient clinic where the, it's done by the benign specialist nurse using a flexible cystoscopy. I'm aware that some patients we might keep the threads on and ask them to pull it on, on their own. Okay. However, given the patient had an impacted stone, I'd like it to be done by the specialist nurse. Okay, fine. All right, I think we'll call it there. We did a bit more than 10 minutes, but uh, call it there. How do you feel, boss? I feel like uh, I was, so I tried to stick to the practical things that I do in theatres rather than um, thinking, saying the, 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 the actual words. And I think this was quite useful. I didn't think that I'm going to run through. I was expecting more questions about the types of wires and stuff, and I was shaking, but you, you, didn't, you didn't ask, so that was good. Yeah, no, no, it was, I, yeah, yeah, you said the, a very good tip, which you stick to your normal practice. Um, yeah. I think that's, yeah, um, I think, you know, like uh, uh, in, in, in the revision, people tell you, you know, like, um, uh, which again, you know, something I've, I've, I've just reflected on, rather than you give an open answer, you know, always, always uh, be assertive and tell them what you're going to do, rather than you, 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 you uh, list the options up front. I think you said it in the beginning, but then you, you rectify it later on because you said this is what you want to do, but you are aware of a different practices. So I think it's yeah. you know, in, in the tech, in, 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 for the sake of the technology ones, they're not going to, to, to pin you down. But if you go to oncology, for example, table and you name options, but you don't commit to any of them, they may have to prompt you. They tell you, you know, like uh, you are the NDT, you are the consultant in charge, mm -hmm. you are a track surgeon you know what you want to do so i always yeah as you said you know always always say what you will do first and then you can always list um, uh, stuff uh, so why is the stand visible business i think business is the is the uh, from my recall you might have to just double check it i think the business is the the coating uh, uh, material which make it visible okay yeah, just just uh, check it. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that was okay. Uh, in the beginning, yeah, you didn't, you know, you didn't say anything wrong. But the assessment, you know, remember with technology, if they give you like a history or something, just get into the CT straight away, like, you know, cut it short, what I'm trying to say, you know, like yeah. uh, the pregnancy and the pain and all of these things, you know, just make it like a less, less uh, shorter sentence, if you like. Um, yeah. Get into CT, but yeah, it was the responses was clear, uh, uh, no issues. Um, yeah, yeah, I wanted to 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 get into this uh, partial stack home, but uh, but yeah, an another thing, boss. Yeah, listen to the question, listen to the question, because I said to you, it's a lo left loin pain and a contralateral partial. Stack. Again, with the language of the examiner, you know, you you, you, you might mistake it. They will correct you. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the only thing. Uh, just you know, yeah. yeah, make it a habit. You know, like write it down or, or listen to the question. You know, like just focus in the yeah. open. Um, but yeah, that's 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 that was okay, man. That was okay. Any side, anything that you want to? Hmm? Anything from your side? Do you want? Uh, no, no, no. I think I think um, um, actually I'm I'm surprised that I, I got the answers. Uh, um, normally I panic. Uh, Abu Harris knows that, <laughs> so, but uh, it went okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do uh, a last scenario if you, if you guys like, or we can call it, and we can try again. I mean, I, I, if nobody wants, I can do another scenario. Uh, now that I'm in the comfort zone, uh, anybody else wants to do it, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's ten fifteen. So mm -hmm. yeah, ten twenty five. We'll call it fine. All right. Well, let's let's cr carry on with your with with your same scenario. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. You treated. Uh, you cleared the stone on the left hand side, and you rightly said uh, you want to address uh, the partial sunk on the other side. So, what's the, what things? What investigation you want to arrange uh, before? uh talk to her about management so in this for this lady i'd like to request i'd like to know the differential renal function 
to okay. see if it's a functional kidney or not, to decide whether to salvage the kidney or to remove it if it's causing uh, recurrent UTIs or pain. And my, I think, uh, so in this case, I'm going to request a DMSA. Okay, how does it work at DMSA? So DMSA is a written a nuclear medicine imaging. It, it, it uh, works, it, DMSA stands for dimethyl uh, mercaptu succinic acid. Uh, we uh, inject technetium-99 loaded on it and um, due to its uh, character of being a glomeri uh, of, uh, sorry, of uh, cortical retention, uh, only 20% will be, will be uh, released and the rest will be in the tubules. This will, uh, the, we use the gamma camera, uh, which takes anterior and posterior images and according to the findings we will and the, the digital subtraction of the images, we will have uh, an idea about the differential renal function. Okay. What is the phases of DMSA? Phases of DMSA? Yeah. Um, um, so I know that there is a vascular phase, uh, uptake phase and elimination. Okay. Um, and what is the radiation dose? Um, uh, oh, 0 0.5 millisieverts. Okay. Uh, and what precautions or instructions would you give to the pa to the patient who had the MSA after the scan done? So after the scan is done, uh, I'll tell them that they should avoid uh, pregnant and children uh, individuals for a period of, of about 24 hours. Um, and I'll uh, re recommend for them a proper hydration. Why 24 hours? Uh, I'm not entirely sure why 24 hours. I might be wrong. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, fine. Um, the uh, split kidney function is 25% uh, on the right and 75% on the left. What do you want to do next? So I think given that it's more than 10%, I will be tempted to uh, to treat the, the 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 uh, the staghorn uh, uh, stone. Okay, how do you want to treat it? So in my practice, what we do is uh, for these patients, we do PCNL or uh, rendezvous procedure, uh, doing uh, extra uh, the extra um, renal uh, surgery, uh, and uh, I will cancel the patient for uh, for 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 the ECIRS. Okay, so uh, fine. So what is the principles of ACRIS? So a uh, principle is of have, doing a rendezvous procedure, doing a PCNL with a retroscopy from the other side. This requires the PCNL to be in a supine position mm -hmm. where uh, we uh, start with the urethroscope, uh, put the wire and then uh, start uh, doing the tract with the PSNL and take it from there. Okay, so what, what is the advantage of supine over prone? Um, the advantage of supine over prone for the surgeons is that it's, it's, it gives me the opportunity to do a combined procedure um, uh, as well as uh, for the anesthetics. It's better for the cardiovascular support. Uh, yeah, these are the main ones. Okay. A, 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 anything for the stone itself? Any advantage for a stone? Uh, it, it provides lower pressure uh, whilst uh, operating and hence it, it uh, reduces the stone propulsion. propulsion. Mm, okay. Um, so when you consent her about this procedure, what is the key things that you will mention to this patient? I will, the key thing, things are uh, the definition of the procedure, the alternatives, and the possible side effects from the procedure, including um, uh, hemorrhage uh, and hemorrhage uh, around uh, 1%, hemorrhage requiring 1 to 2%, hemorrhage requiring transfusion about 1%, hemorrhage requiring uh, uh, embolization or nephrectomy about 0.01%, injury to the bowel uh, or uh, uh, the pleura, and uh, urinary leakage and extraposition of of, uh, of of fluid. 
Okay, you are the uh, stone surgeon, you are the PCNL surgeon. Uh, patient is prepped and WHO checklist and she is draped. Uh, the nurse asks you, uh, what, what equipment do you need? So, to start with, I will need an access needle. Okay, what the... is the size of the access needle that you use? Uh, I think it's uh, 18, 18 gauge. Okay. What else? Then I would like to have the, uh, the track dilators. Okay. I what use the dilators? ambulance dilators. Okay. What other types of track dilators you are aware of? Spatial, which are similar to the amplets, um, screw dilators, and the balloon dilators. Okay. How the balloon dilators work? By uh, horizontal. Uh, um, Horizontal dilation, or it's it's sorry. I mean, it it dilates the whole length of the tract rather than uh, a vertical dilatation. Okay. So, what is the principles in the balloon dilate, dilators? Um, the principle is that we insert the balloon and then start to increasing the pressure. Uh, I'm I don't remember the the pressure that we reach. Okay, so so you have balloon dilators, and the nurse asks you what sheath that you're going to use for this patient. Um, uh, the sheath is um, uh, the amplet sheath. Yeah, what size? Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so what sizes of PCNL generally you are aware of? I'm aware of the standard, which is 24 to 30, and there is the mini, which is 14 to 20, and then there is the ultra mini, 11 to 13, and 4.8. So you do a mini PCNL, lower pole puncture, okay, and the stone in front of you. This club nurse ask you, how, uh, what, what, what energy? that you want to use to break the stone? I will use the ultrasonic. OK, so you have the, the, the Trilogy uh, machine in your theater. Okay. What are the principles of the Trilogy machine? Um, I'm not sure about the Trilogy. Is it the Lithoclast? Yeah. OK, so the Lithoclast is a form of a machine that uses both the ultrasound and the ballistic, oh, uh, and uh, it uh, generates both the 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 uh, both together, which generates a wave that acts on the stone. It's called the uh, hammer hammer effect. Okay, you've mentioned earlier about ultrasound, uh, uh, the ultrasound uh, energy. So yeah. how? How, how does it work? What are the principles of the ultrasound energy? Ultrasound energy is uh, sim it's similar to the ultrasound. Electricity generates ultrasound uh, are transfer transfer tra uh, are transferred into an ultrasound energy, which uh, act uh, acts by uh, for a mechanical uh, uh, destruction of the stone. Okay, so you managed to. Uh, retrieve some of the fragments, okay, uh, and you want to send it off to be analyzed. Mm -hmm. what, what methods does the lab use to analyze the stones? So there is spectroscopy mm -hmm. and uh, uh, conventional. I'm not. I don't remember the name of the uh, of the uh, conventional analysis, but uh, I'm aware that spectroscopy is the mainstay. Okay, and 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 how is the the the, the partial stack? Sorry, the principles of the formation of a partial stack hornstone. Uh, staghorn stone. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, it it starts as a, I'm not sure, but I think it starts as a struvite stone or a, an infection stone with mm -hmm. with calcific, cal uh, which uh, with uh, accumulation of calcification, it for it it uh, starts to accumulate and 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 just occupy the the calices. 
Okay, so what what microorganisms? Proteus. It's the so it's the uh, uh, the gas for ma forming uh, stones are the main uh, formers of the of the uh, staghorn, including Proteus, Pseudomonas, Chiroplasma, Nocardia. Gas forming. You say gas forming. Yes. It's not gas forming. It's uh, sorry, irrigate splitting. Okay. So since you've mentioned the real splitting, can you just explain to me the equation briefly of the yeah. uh, 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 urease splitting? Yeah, so, so uh, urea is, is uh, 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 so urease s s uh, acts on, on urea, splitting it to ammonium uh, hydroxide uh, in, in presence of water, NH, uh, as then the, the ammonia is reduced to ammonium, and uh, uh, and then with water it will form NH3 uh, H2O and then the the hydrogen uh, binds with the carbon dioxide and forms bicarb. I, I'm not sure, but I think the yeah that's how I remember it right now. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, 26 past. We'll call it the. I wanted to, to to take you to something else uh, in this topic, but we'll leave it to next time. Okay. How does it feel, boss? This is horrible because I I, I don't do PCNL, so all I, I'm saying is just uh, out of uh, of 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 reading rather than uh, actual uh, practice. I think it's it's common sense. It, it does come PCNL. I think it does come. Mm hmm come but yeah yeah no 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 it's uh it's, it's fine but you can you can you, uh, i think in the last couple of minutes your 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 voice don't change yeah i saw i was suffering <laughs> <laughs> i was drowning <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's fine that's fine i would just uh you know like uh pretty much just listening to your responses regardless of uh you know like the the, the information you can you can always you know build up by just the, the, the responses, but then, uh, that's why it just at least, you know, it gives you an idea, you know, which which topic that you need to cover. But um, but yeah, it's uh, the, the last two minutes plus your 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 turn has changed. <laughs> I think I think I think I'm, I, I wasn't too bad because I know you. So, so for me, I'm in, I'm in the comfort zone. But if, if I'm asked the same questions by the examiner, I would probably be shaking. Yeah, no, no, bosses. I th you started okay. You started okay, but uh, as as we went on, because it can come in any, it can come even in the stone. In the st I had I had a PC, you know, uh, thingy in my stone scenario. I, I, I was deliberately asking about PC, you know, in case it comes because if it doesn't come in technology, it comes in a stone. If it doesn't come in stone, it comes yeah. in. Tech, you know what I mean? So uh, so it, 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 the, the, this topic will. Uh, will uh, will 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 uh, kind of uh, uh, cross yeah uh, so so yeah you might get asked about it in a stone table in a section you never know yeah and you what's know. the name of the machine again is it tri trilogy what is uh, it trilogy yeah trilogy so trilogy from tri so it's it's the three things ultrasound lethal class and a suction from what i remember ah, okay uh, it's, it's the three things together yeah 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 okay uh, so yeah but uh, yeah, they can give you a picture. They can give you, you know, obviously we're doing it virtual, but uh, they can give you anything. I, I, in, in my in my um, in my technology, they asked me the uh, about pyroplasty. Really? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was the station went it started from stent to cancer to radiotherapy, and is finished off by uh, pyroplasty. You know, Max 3, obviously, and then pyloplasty, picture for crossing vessels and how you do actually pyloplasty. So, uh, you know, the, I think that the, 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 the historical technology, you know, will, you will expect, you know, deep technological information. I think they, they mix it up. I don't know if, if, you, if, you, if, if you agree, but, um, but they always give you like a clinical scenario. You know, it could be consent, it could be assessment. They always like a bring a clinical center, you know, how to do the procedure. They, they asked me about pyroplasty, how to do pyroplasty. Um, well, I'm glad they didn't because I, I wouldn't know a lot to say. 
I mean, I know the principles, but not the details. Uh, the, again, not in details. It's the principles, only the principles. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, they can, they can, you know, they can ask about the procedure, even though you are in technology scenario. So, uh, so yeah, no, 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 it's, uh, it's, it's good. But yeah, it's, it's just pretty much like, a, like as I said, like, a, like a just, you know, to get to get your responses uh, up, and you can always, you know, read and technology. One of these things, you, you. you you just you read and you forget you read and you forget but it's a fast pace you know mm. it, either you like it or you hate it so it's yeah it's one of these topics so uh so yeah so, yeah uh, so it's good practice yeah yeah so it's Thank a, you, boss. no 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 problem i would i would have done you know more but uh is so uh, yeah, yeah. we can always do if you, if you can have some time later on we can do further i mean I think technology is one of the tables where yeah, we just need to run through all the, the scenarios and it's it's just, as you said, it, it, it could be involving any part of the syllabus, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can ask. And they, again, you know, they can bring anything, you know, they can bring anything. Uh, and, and, and sometimes you, you, you will be surprised. You, you answer the question not because you read technology. You answer the question because you, you covered that topic in a different table, if you see what I mean. Yes, and and it comes that side. So um, there's um, yeah, you know we'll do we'll do boss. Uh, we'll Inshallah. do. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Thank any, you very much for your time. Guys? No, no, no problem, no problem. Um, the the guys in the background, if anything you want to add or or, or anything in particular for for next time. Um, I think I think we've done the stones. Do you think there's anything else in stones that we need to be aware of? Uh, I, I wanted to cover the ESWL. If, if oh, we, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can, we can, you know, make it for, for next time. Um, uh, yeah, ESWL. And then we can, yeah, I think, yeah, Eurodynamics female, maybe female technology. Uh, like uh, the, I've got asked about uh, Eurodynamics and uh, I've got asked about um, what is that? Uh, the SNS. I've got asked about SNS. Really? Yeah, yeah, in the technology part. It was it wasn't too bad as 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 it sounds. Uh, it was more clinical. The 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 technology, the information was mainly about urodynamics, but the clinical part was about indication for urodynamics, SNS. You know the component, the side effects showed me x-ray about lead migration and, and and stuff like that so so um these kind of things right so so yeah there will be like cancer cancer technology obviously like a prostate cancer renal cancer uh testes cancer i think testes the the, the people i know they had it started from ultrasound from testicular swelling assessment to ultrasound principles, to 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 uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, PET scanning and the indication, and briefly on chemotherapy, but knowing details. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was testes and prostate together, I think, in 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 one table. So it was just mainly PET, MRI, ultrasound, stuff like that. Right. So we covered that, I think, yeah, the cancer and uh, obviously the, the, the hated topic is the kidneys, the renal failure, the EGFR and all of these things. I don't think anybody had it this year. Um, no, I think the one before, not la the last one, November, I think May. May, I know people had had uh, EGFR, creatinine, it started from creatinine. Yeah, OK. I mean, this is OK, but if they ask about the machine or anything else. No, 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 it, it gets deeper. I mean, yeah, it was in the machine. Uh, it was it was creatinine, EGFR, the uh, creatinine, you know, the, the actual creatinine, where it comes from, the metabolism of creatinine, stuff like this. Um, okay. Yeah, but, you know, we'll, we'll 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 go through it for next uh, next session. We'll cover All the rest. Right. All right, boss. All right. Thank you again for your time. No problem. No problem. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. All the best. All right. Do it again. Bye-bye.